But where are those workers going? You, you said yourself we're at full employment. You also accepted that we have huge uh, vacancies in this country in key sectors. People if everyone's already to, in work, where are those people going to come from? People need to offer higher wages. And other people can be drawn out of retirement to work for higher higher wages. Sorry, sorry, we, we, we're going to we're going to get pensioners out of retirement to fill the skills gap caused by Brexit. That that's your solution. The pensioners need to come gap. out of retirement. We're not discussing a skills gap. No, no, no. But you, you said no, no, people need to come out of retirement. Yeah, but that wasn't on the side the of a bus, gap. was it? Discussing, I think it's fantastic. People work later if they want to. I think it's but what if they don't? We have gaps, and your solution to that is to get people to stop retiring and come out of retirement. Yeah, nobody is forced to work in this country, by the way. Nobody's forced to come out of retirement. But if you offer people attractive jobs and attractive rates, and especially if they have part-time, lots of people will come and work out of retirement. Of course they will. That's what they want to do. Do they? Yes, lots of people do. You well, I, right I'm interested to hear our callers' views on that. Lord Newby, is that, is that true? We need, to, we need to get the people out of retirement to solve this? I think anybody uh, who wants to work should be encouraged to work. But the idea that you're going to uh, staff care homes and hotels and pick fruit with pensioners is just fanciful, isn't it? And as for paying higher wages, I haven't actually heard uh, Lord Moylan and the Conservatives saying that we should be significantly increasing wages in care homes and in the NHS in order that the great shortage of jobs which we currently have are filled. The problem is that the people are paid very, very low wages there. There is no substitute for people to care for people.